Yo, man, welcome to the Jalen channel, man, and uh, excuse the super wash gameplay you guys are finna see. I am so sorry. Look, bro, the controller dead zones were broke for two and a half weeks. What was I supposed to do? Play it? Are you crazy? You lost your goddamn mind. Like, dead zone ain't so damn important in uh, a FPS game, and Ubisoft just let it be broke for two and a half weeks. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Anyways, uh, Rainbow Six Siege is having a really, really, really tough time right now. This new season, this new operation, it, it simply put, we're, we're about like not even a month in, and it's it's pretty simple to call it a flop. Like, the only thing that's pretty cool about this season is the rank charms. Uh, operation New Blood, this was supposed to be like the Operation Health, bro. This was supposed to be Operation Health 2 or some shit. You know, we were supposed to, you know, get some fixes, some quality of life improvements. You know, not necessarily the most content, but just some fixes. And in reality, we've gotten jack shit. In reality... We've gotten a worse product from what was going on last season when uh, Deimos dropped. Dude, the changes that were made were just very interesting. But before we get into those changes, we got to talk about this. That I just saw. This shit blew my fucking mind when I saw it. Um, this is from this is from your boy Varsity. Uh, if you guys know about him, he's like one of the most dry personality gamers of all time. But Varsity Gaming, Siege is experiencing its biggest drop in players ever. Almost 50% from Season 1 to Season 2. It's almost as if releasing seasons with little to no content will make, make people play less. Yeah, that will also happen. Also, there was a bug on PC where the game wouldn't fucking close and they were just faking numbers basically. But yeah, man, um, a lot of players just fucking vanished. Bro, we went from 200,000 peak players to 88,000. That is not fucking normal. That's like actually crazy, brother. And there's a bunch of reasons for this. First of all, in this season, uh, my first video I made just talking about the dead zones. In this fucking season, for whatever reason, we just nerfed two characters super hard well-deserved nerfs and these uh characters that got nerfed were Fenrir and Solus. now the Solus nerf was a little strange bro they just slammed nerf hammer completely down on the bitch for no reason just basically making her a complete shell of her fucking self um the Fenrir nerf made all the sense in the world because why did they even release that damn character but when it comes to Solus, it just makes you go Damn, what the fuck is the point of getting good with a character or playing the fucking game when your favorite character can possibly get the fucking nerf hammer no matter what? Never forget what they did to Sledge. They nerfed Sledge like four or five times in a fucking row at one point. The siege balancing does make the game less fun. Um, making characters, uh, you know, get balanced strictly due to nerfs. It's garbage. Uh, I've never thought that was good game design, not good game balancing. Instead of just nerfing your best characters, why not buff some of the ones that aren't that good? Why not buff some of the counterplay options? We haven't seen a good amount of buffs to weapons or operators in fucking forever. And I thought that this season, with all this little content, they ought to at least try and experiment with that shit. Um, you know, for, for the game to be having so many technical problems, glitches, bugs, all that shit, you would think they would at least try and make the gameplay loop a little bit more fun. Nerfing characters is not fun. Uh, it might make it more better to go against those characters it makes it a little easier to play against those guys but as a person that was maining solace or maining Fenrir how could you main Fenrir when that nigga was just banned every time but yeah if you were maining solace it's like nigga what for what all right what are you gonna fucking do now you can't fucking play this bitch you can't play this bitch at all uh that, that's that's pretty goddamn garbage not gonna lie um also bro the dead zone glitch right so they finally did fix it um, probably about like two, three days ago. But on PC, this is another reason why people just can't fucking fuck with Seeds, bro. On PC, they dropped the hot fix to fix the dead zone problem over there on that platform. And while they fixed that problem, they created a new problem. You couldn't fucking queue up on PC. Bro, this game is like running on fucking life support, brother. No exaggeration. Uh, we're aware that players have been receiving matchmaking errors following the deployment of today's PC patch. To rectify this, the patch has been reverted. Players should close and update their game again to fix this issue. We are actively working on addressing the underlying problem with a new patch. Dude, who the fuck is going to play this game when it's just so fucking broken? And especially on console, bro, now that we finally are getting some more comp shooters. I know everybody's not into Valorant. Hell, even at one point, I really, really wasn't into it. But... At least the fucking game works, you know? The game fucking works over there. You know, the, the the slight bugs I ran into, I'll let that shit slide for a fucking closed beta. 
Seeds been out for damn near, what, eight years now, bro? Like, nigga, that's almost a fucking decade. And these niggas at Ubisoft still cannot drop updates without breaking the fucking game. They still can't drop updates without breaking the fucking game. And for whatever reason, when they're updating their game, when it comes to changes, buffs, nerfs, they seem to always do the opposite of what the community is fucking asking for. Um, and at the season like this, where they drop those two garbage-ass recruit operators, which... I can't believe that. To, to this day, I can't believe they wasted resources on that shit. Niggas could have just left Recruit the exact way he was. Like, who gave a shit about Recruit? Bro, you can't even, you couldn't even play Recruit in ranked. Like, who gave a fuck about if you could play Recruit in ranked or not? They just did the laziest shit ever and said, here you go, this is a new season. Like, what in the fuck? And the fact that these guys aren't dropping a lot of content this season... And the game is still fucking broken. Like, what was the point of not dropping content? Everybody was kind of under the assumption that if they if these niggas wasn't going to drop content, that means they were going to be fixing the game. Meanwhile, for literally the first, like, quarter of this season, the fucking game was broken on all platforms. Ridiculous. What was the fucking point? It was, like, no fucking point of doing that shit. Um, hopefully, we do see some, you know, some quality of life changes, some buffs, some shit like that. I mean, the only buff that was, like, kind of cool, I guess, was, like, Deimos' AK-47 getting grips. Still a shit character. Why the fuck do I have to use a pistol when I'm using my ability? Nigga, this is not Cav. I don't get that. I really don't get that part. I don't get how they think that shit was that damn cool, brother. It was not that damn cool. But, um, look, bro, Siege, Siege need to step it the fuck up because we literally just came off of a fire-ass season. Like, everybody was on that bitch. Like, literally, just like I showed you with that varsity screenshot. Like, bro, 200,000 peak players on PC. You can only imagine how many niggas was on console, brother. Like, the shit was the shit was fun. It was fun as fuck to play. Can't, cannot make that up. Game was fun as fuck to play. So, for us to go from super fun to super ass in the span of three months is ridiculous. Um, If you're going to take this route of no content, of slowing down content, then at least make sure our product's not that shit. Um, still need to see some balancing changes or something, something to make this shit feel fresh. The only thing we've seen is nerfs, and nerfs sadly do not make the game feel fresh, in my opinion. In my opinion, it makes the game less fucking fun. Uh, there's definitely certain things that was OD with Solus, but we didn't have to nerf hammer her. I mean, she went from three speed to... Uh, the two speed, two armor, the getting her fucking ability nerfed to the fucking grounds of hell and losing impacts. It's like, bro, how do you just say fuck you to all the Solus players? And uh, I mean, the Fenrir nerf was cool. Just like I said at the start of the video, the Fenrir, Fenrir nerf, it did make sense. You know, you would hope that people would stop always auto banning the nigga, but, you know, the damage hasn't been done. That's what happens when you drop fucking sped ass characters that had no business dropping in the first fucking place. The damage has already been done. Um,. Is there anything else I need to talk about? Oh, yeah, bro. The content that was added. First of all, they added the original stadium map. Uh, the one that's, in my opinion, way worse than the follow-up one. What was really wrong with the follow-up uh, stadium map was the fact that all that bulletproof see-through glass. Like, I don't know why that gimmick was. It was no point. Like, they could have just made a normal-ass map. Like, in what world in a comp shooter was see-through glass going to fucking make sense? Like, what? See-through glass we can't shoot through. Like, how does that make sense? But they added the worst version of the map, and they made it a night map, which is cool. But what's crazy is the community's been asking for night maps forever. Like, the more casual community, I know I'm not on that side, but, you know, that is a part of Siege. It, it is unranked in a casual mode. These niggas have been asking for night maps forever, dude. They've been asking for it forever. You mean to tell me you do it on the fucking first stadium map? Like, what type of shit is that? Like, who is the one making some of these weird-ass decisions? Like, bro, these niggas been asking for night maps forever, and you choose that fucking map? Like, that's garbage, brother. I I, I, I can't lie to you. That's that's straight sh that's straight cheeks. That's straight shitter. Um, yeah, man. I, it, look, bro, for them not to be dropping no fucking, no fucking content, they could have did a way better fucking job, man. I can't lie to you, bro. They could have did a way fucking better job with just the smaller changes, bro. The smaller changes and the smaller additions could have fucking mattered way more. Um, it's still not the end of the season. 
they still got a chance to do something. You know, uh, Rainbow Six Siege does occasionally do like little mid-season updates, little mid-season changes and shit like that. Maybe this will be one of those seasons. In my opinion, there's literally no fucking reason for it not to be. You niggas literally reworked recruit. Like, the resources did not get used that much, brother. Um, so, you know, you would hope some, some motherfucking changes come. That makes sense. Uh, I would love to see some buffs. Uh, you know, maybe IQ buff. IQ's been mid forever. Maybe buff her. I don't fucking know. It's, it's just some things that can get buffed, some things that can get changed. Uh, maybe we can have some more fucking three-speed operators, bro. I don't know what's been going on with these niggas making everybody two armor, two speed. That's been garbage. Uh, would love to see some three-speed niggas. But that's it for y'all. A little off-the-top rant. Just uh, thinking about the game, bro. Uh, you know, they did finally fix fucking Dead Zone, so I'm a little washed right now, but... I am back playing. Uh, we'll get some content up soon. My washed ass gameplay. <laughs> That's going to be a fun era to be in. The wash, the wash jaw era. We just came out of champ era. Now we finna be garbage. But uh, that's it for the Jalen channel, man. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Appreciate y'all, man.